hey you guys and welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be counting my savings challenge from 2021 i did the one dollar savings challenge the five dollar savings challenge and also the coins savings challenge now you guys i know that i am a couple days late but better late than never so i am going to go ahead and get into this um, cash counting video let me know right now in the comment section how much you think all of this is in total let me know what you think the amount is so before i get started if you are new to my channel and you are not currently subscribed to me i would really appreciate if you will go ahead and click that red subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you will be aware of each and every time that i upload new videos with that being said let's go ahead and start counting guys so I have my clear cash tray right here. I know that you can't see it. So I think what I'm going to start with is going to be the $5 bills since I don't have that many $5 bills. So guys, yeah, this is all of what I um, saved throughout the year of 2021. Now, I must say that I was not 100% consistent with um, putting away my $1 bills and my $5. I was, I will say for the most part that I was consistent with my change, but not so much my $5 and my $1, but I still saved something. So that's all that matters. So right now, I am going to make sure that all of my $5 bills are um, facing in the same direction because I really don't like when my money is not faced in the same direction. Anybody else like that? Like they all have to be facing the same. Also guys, let me know down in the comment section, did any of you do any savings challenges? And if so, how much were you able to save in the year of 2021? And it's funny though, because I started out doing the envelope challenge as well, but y'all, I was missing days. Like I, I totally forgot about that challenge. So I just quit on that challenge because I just, I, I couldn't keep up with it as far as remembering. So I was like, okay, I'll just stick to what I do every year. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and count the $5 bills and we're going to see how much we have. Make sure y'all pay attention because sometimes I'll be miscounting around here. So, let's go ahead and get started. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300, okay. We got 300 so far. I'm just putting this cash in my cash tray. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So in $5 bills, we have 300. Let me bring this down a little bit. So in $5 bills, we have $335. So let me go ahead and write this down over here on the side. So $335 in $5 bills. So that's, that's really good, guys that's really really good so i'm going to go ahead and sit that there and then now i'm going to go ahead and move well let me make sure these are in the right direction
doing this straight. Okay guys, so I got everything faced the right way. <laughs> and I know I just have this money everywhere, but I'm gonna put it in my tray that way I can uh, keep track. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, eighty-one, eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-four, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, Ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Okay, so this right here is one hundred. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200. So this right here is 200. Okay, so I actually have more $1 bills than I thought, honestly. So that's really good. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 
82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, so this is 300 right here. Okay, 300. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, Okay, so we have four hundred and one dollars in one dollar bills. Okay, four oh one. So we have three thirty-five in five dollar bills, and we have four hundred and one dollars in one dollar bills. So now we're going to go ahead and move to the change, you guys. And this is a lot of change. So honestly, what I'm about to do is I'm just about to separate all of the change. Okay guys, so here we are. So I sorted out all of the money and here is everything that I have in coins. I separated each pile into a dollar. That way it will be easier for me to count. And then this is the leftover pennies that I have, the leftover quarters, dimes, and nickels. And then I will count this, I will count this little section last. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the quarters. So with the quarters, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so we have $30 in quarters. And then in nickels, we have $2. So we have one and two. And then in dimes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten dollars in dimes. And then we have one, two, two dollars in uh, pennies. Okay. And so now, you guys, this is the leftover change right here that I have. And so now I'm going to go ahead and count this to see how much this is. So I have three quarters right here, which is 75. So 75, 85, 95, a dollar. So this is one dollar. And then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 91. So we have a dollar and 91 cents right here. So I'm going to go ahead and write these amounts down, you guys, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to calculate everything up to see how much money I saved. 
Okay guys, so here we are. I have the amounts written down. And also you guys, if you were watching this video and you noticed that I made a mistake, please let me know in the comment section. I think I'm going to recount all of this once, you know, when I get off camera, but I'm pretty confident that I counted all of this right. So we're gonna go ahead and calculate the totals. So let's go ahead and start from the top. So in $5 bills, we counted $335, so $335 plus, and then in $1 bills, we counted $401, so plus 401. And then for the quarters, we counted $30, so plus 30. And then for the dimes, we counted $10, so we're gonna say plus 10. For the nickels, we counted $2, so we're gonna say plus two. For the pennies, we counted $2, so we're gonna say plus two. And then for the extra change, we counted $1.91, so we're gonna say plus 1.91. So you guys, I saved a total of $781.91, OMG. Like, I am so shocked at this amount, you guys. And the reason why I am shocked at the amount is because I was not consistently saving my $1 bills and my $5 bills. Now, if I was consistent, this would have been so much more, but I'm, I'm so happy with the amount that this is. Like, I was not expecting to have saved almost $800 from, you know, based off of me not being consistent. And then I'm also shocked about the amount of quarters that I saved, $30 in quarters, that's nice. So in change alone, you guys, I saved what? 10, 12, 14, no, I'm sorry, this is not right. 30, 40, 42, 44, $45.91. So in change alone, I saved $45.91. That's amazing. So you guys, OMG, I'm just so happy about this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with this money yet, but I do know what I'm going to do with my change. So every year, I always do the $1, $5 in the coin challenge. And with my change, my change, I just keep it in this. If you haven't watched my last year's um, savings challenge that I had counted for the year of 2020, make sure you go and check that video out. But I normally just keep my change in, the, I have this little small size crate and I roll my change up and then I just put it in there and I just let it sit. When am I going to cash it in? I have absolutely no idea. I just like to see it grow. But I'm gonna get these rolled up and I'm going to just toss these in that crate as well. So yeah, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you all enjoyed, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section if your guess of how much this is was correct or were you off a little bit. If you are not following me on Instagram, I will have that linked in the description box below. I am really trying to grow my Instagram, you guys, and I'm so excited about that. So if you are not following me on Instagram, my Instagram name is Saving with Shaniqua. And again, it is linked in the description box below. So please go ahead and give me a follow over there. I will greatly appreciate it. So this is it for this video, you guys, and I will see you lovelies in my next one. Bye.